Hello, Facebook friends. It is time for your morning mug shots. Yes. Yeah, we're excited to see uh -huh. you. And welcome to our segment that we have uh, just started weekly here, featuring a snapshot of some of the best universities across Northeast Ohio. All right, Lena's right over here. You can't see her, but <laughs> she's saying. Okay. Well, I'm like, I there she is. Uh, did you really get in trouble from that mugshot? Well, what's funny with that mugshot is now she's on the run. Right. <laughs> Like there she is. To, no, I have a doctor's appointment. Yeah, so okay, give a shout out right now. Okay, hi, College of Worcester. Thank there you so go. much for These sharing awesome. the mugs. There we go. So, yes, okay. this morning, uh, you be safe. This morning, we are raising a mug to Worcester, of yes. course. Town was just named one of the best places to live in Ohio, and I believe all the fighting Scots would agree. Right. The small school has just 2,000 students. I mean, think about that right. with some of the, oh, like the very cool traditions. Yeah, I That's mean, it, it really is fun. This one is definitely one of my favorites. After the first significant snowfall, students fill the arc of uh, the main academic building, the arch there with the snow. And as legend has it, classes will be canceled the next day. This is a video from the snow on January the 15th. The bad news, it's only a legend. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, it's only a legend? It's only a legend, John. Oh, because yeah. that's quite a story. Right, it's a good one. They got the it's kind of like the, you know, there. flush ice cubes down the toilet thing. Yeah. That's what they do. Oh, but they, yeah, they really do this. They really do Look it. at the hard work that's put in all a of lot. that. It's a lot. It's quite a, I mean, you could just go build a snowman, but not at the College of Worcester. No. They're filling the arch. Uh, love the mugs. Really do love the mugs. A lot of history here. Uh, this is the one I got because I like it that it's got the 1866 right yeah, there. Yeah, it's very classic. Which is classic. very historical. It is. So, it's pretty. So when it comes to academics, Worcester's known as America's premier college for undergraduate research because every student has to complete a significant research project before they graduate. And speaking of research, uh, Worcester is one of only two schools to be named as uh, U.S. News and World Reports schools with outstanding research opportunities. Every year since 2002, the other school is Princeton. Princeton, Princeton. in the Ivy League, how about yeah. that? So that is something right there. That is quite an honor there because Congrats. U.S. News and World Reports comes out with that edition every year, ranking the best schools in America. And yeah, that's major. How about right there for Worcester? That's fantastic news there. Oh, is this uh, Lena's mug? <laughs> yeah, you show that one off. Show that one off because I look pretty. for our Facebook here. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, because we want to hear from you as well. But you know what? I'm just, uh, <laughs> there we go. There we go. And that's that's so what makes this segment going. so great is if you're able to chime in and maybe mm -hmm. give us some other stories and uh, we like to share them along too. Yeah, and if you actually are from Worcester mm -hmm. or you went to the college, let yeah. us know some fun facts there as Favorite we do this as well too. Oh, places like to visit if you're uh, in the Worcester area. Right, there's a great hockey rink right there. They you did have school job. today, Worcester. Yes, they did. <laughs> they have a great hockey rink down there that uh, my son has played many, many times. Is that right? They hold the All-Star Games down there and they do a fabulous job with that every time. That All-Star Game should stay in Worcester every well, year. Well, and my dad is in the construction business, and I know they, they, they've done several jobs in the Worcester area, oh. so he travels there quite a bit. There you go. Yeah. Speaking of sports as well, Worcester's home to the winningest NCAA men's basketball team in the 2000s. Listen to this. In terms of winning percentage, Worcester has an 830 winning percentage. Wow. They won 83 percent of their game. That's better than Duke, yeah, Kansas. Wow. And every other NCAA Division One, Two, and Three team in the country. That is that amazing. That is outstanding. Mm -hmm. You should be very proud. You should. I mean, wow. that's your team. You're beating yeah, some of the big I mean, those boys are, right those there. Are major, in so. major schools. Yeah, remember that when we fill out the brackets. I will. <laughs> we'll include Worcester. Not, this year. Worcester, you will be in my method this year. You're going to do that? Yeah. W for winning. Uh, let's see. David joins us. Hi, David. So Hi, David. David says likes this story. So, um, yeah, we appreciate that. Uh, again, anybody watching or attending College of Worcester, let us know. Yeah. I love the mugs. I love that we did uh, the, the morning mug shot. They all have personality. Because we started with Akron, mm -hmm. then we did Kent State, mm -hmm. and now we're doing the College of Worcester. So it's a great way just to kind of get your logo out there, start right. talking about the universities. We learn more about the universities as well. Yeah. That's a pretty sharp one right I there. I like the plaid. Yeah. I really do. You're kind of matching today. Well, and I didn't even intend to do that. But, you know, it's it's fun because it, it kind of brings us all back to our school days. And hopefully it triggers some stories for all of you that are watching. And even if it's, you know, after the fact, you can share on Facebook throughout the day. And uh, we can pass along these facts all week because we feature mm -hmm. these mugs all week long. Right. This is not just a one-day thing. Right. So uh, proud of your academics. Mm -hmm. One of the best in the country. Sports are obviously Sports, a big deal. Sports, one of the best in the country. That basketball team is amazing. Yeah. You know what? I do a segment on the show uh, called Biggest Winners. 
I would love to get some biggest winners, I, I, and we can honor the teams from Worcester. I, that was the first thing I thought of when yeah. you were rattling those off. Yeah. Right. So we should definitely do that as well. I want to know what you're known for in Worcester, outside of just you know the sports and academics. Well, right? here you go. Okay. Good morning, Frank. Asking you, Nice to have Frank with us. Hi, Frank. Uh, Frank says from Smithville, just outside of Worcester. Lots of good restaurants. Uh, I always hope we could get a melt. Well, maybe. Mm. But there are good restaurants down mm -hmm. there. Because, you know, mm -hmm. you play on a hockey game. And you, sure. You boys are hungry and right. stuff like that. I forget the name of it. If somebody's watching, but there was a... Uh there's a Mexican restaurant out there that was really, really yeah, my good. My daughter, she does volleyball, and she hasn't. we haven't had any tournaments yeah. towards the Worcester Way yet. Yeah, it was on a main road, I remember, as you're kind of leaving or going to town. Maybe uh, somebody will help us. Okay, good. Uh, Michelle says, good morning, I'm in North Carolina. Oh. <laughs> Michelle, we're jealous. I actually worked in North Carolina for a few years. Did she yeah. say what part? Uh, no. No. Mm. No. Furniture capital of the world, High Point, right. Greensboro, Winston-Salem. We're going to try and get that information. Oh, yeah. <laughs> From here, worked there for a few years. Really right. good biscuits. Oh, there yeah, you go. Really good biscuits. So, I'm getting all right. off subject. Uh, well, <laughs> all right. What did you say, Spanx? You said the Rubbermaid was Oh, discovered. I didn't know that. Rubbermaid. Count how many products right now you have in the house from Rubbermaid. <laughs> a lot. A lot. There's a really good Pete's Cochia, or is it Cochia? Cochia or Cochia, maybe some of you watching or you know, in this Facebook Live right now can mm -hmm. confirm. Cochia Pizza, you are known for? We are pizza connoisseurs here on the morning show. We are, right. That would be fun to get a few pizzas up here I on know, set, right? I know. Well, pizza we're going, for breakfast? And we're going to this Mexican restaurant, I'm telling you right now. Okay. Uh, Michelle's back and says El Camp. You know what, it might be something like that. Oh, for the Mexican? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Good guacamole, Michelle. Uh -huh. So, uh, yeah, we're getting some good ideas coming in here. Uh, Karen says from Millersburg, mm -hmm. listening along. Uh, yeah, men mentions that uh, Cochilla Pizza House. Okay. The house Pizza is very good. Field trip. Karen, what, what do you like then? What's, what's like the specialty at that pizza shop? Let pizza. us know. Well, I know pizza, but what, like, <laughs> what's... I'll just say one of everything, no, I know, but I know. you know. Is maybe. it deep dish? Is it thin pizza? Is it that coal fire pizza that a lot of you are into now? Frank says it's either El Capacino or El oh, uh, Tepatillo, something like that. Could be. Could okay. be. Yeah, those, they do sound familiar. Mm -hmm. It's one of those where it was so good. It was just, mm -hmm. No, I get it. It was really, really good. And you parents all know, like, when you're traveling, this, this is big deal stuff when you're at these tournaments <clears> for, you know, a day or sometimes overnight. Right. Find some good places to go to. Right. Uh, Kate, also, you got to come for the pizza. So uh, we have got a lot of pizza fans and right there. I, and they're I, all I, saying I the go. same brand. You've got to come down. We're going. We are. We need to go. We're going to take our mugs. Okay. And we're going to go down to Worcester. We're going to try this pizza. And then we're going to check out that basketball team. Yes. How about that? And the Mexican restaurant. Yes. <laughs> See, we and have the, our whole day planned. And then we'll learn something from everybody. It'll be a Channel 3 with, News Today field trip. We'll learn something from every student who's got to do a research project. Well, and that's the cool thing about this. And, and pass the word along to maybe uh, friends that you have outside of the Worcester area for Mug of the Day. Because it's yep. fun to get to know each yep. of you personally. We and feel like we know you, but this really makes us feel like we do. Right. And if you're watching from another school or university, yeah. let us know if Same you want thing. to see your mug here as well, and we can share some fun facts and just got to have a fun few minutes with you. I already this. learned a ton. I would have never, see, I mean, I am an East Side girl, born and raised, mm -hmm. and I can tell you a gazillion pizza places uh, on the East Side, but I would have never thought of that place in Worcester. All right. Up oh, there's Lena. There, and there you are. There we go. That means we got to run. But thank you, everyone.